Let's say you have a class B, B plus, or a small class C that has a tiny battery compartment that you wanna cram a bunch of batteries into. Let me give you an example. So this small class C has a very tiny battery box. They basically designed these for two small group 27 batteries at the most, which will only give you 200 amp hours of lead acid. But I wanna cram as much as I possibly can in here of lithium batteries because for me, that's not gonna cut it for even one night of boondocking. I need to actually have way more power than that. So I was trying to figure out how many batteries could I fit into this box. And this box is 11 inches this way by 18 inches this way. And if you look at those measurements and look up the batteries online, they're all pretty much over 18 inches if they're gonna be two or 300 amp hours. Even if it two 100 amp hour batteries in here, those are group 31s and those are too big for this box to fit two of them in there. So. What can you do? So here's my solution. You can see I have three Lee Time 100 amp hour mini batteries and they add up to only 16 inches wide and they're just over 10 inches long. So I will have no problems fitting them in the 11 by 18 box. All we gotta do now is make some parallel cables, slap them in, hook them up and see how they work. Now, first thing is first, you make sure you top up all three of these batteries. So all three of these batteries have been charged all the way up to the point where the BMS shuts off. You don't want to have them out of balance. You don't want to have them in different states of charge. So you get them brand new in the box. They're charged somewhere between 30 and 50%. Make sure you completely top them up with any kind of battery charger that can do 14.6 volts. We'll top them up and then hook them up in parallel and then they should balance themselves pretty quickly. So this is the charger inverter that I use to charge my batteries, the 4,000 watt Sun Gold Power 12 volt inverter has a 120 amp charger built in. So what I do is I use this Victron battery monitor with a shunt and it allows me to determine how much power is going in and out of the battery. So I charge all three batteries up using this until they shut off. Let me give you a quick size comparison here. There's the three lead time batteries. Those are 100 amp hours each. And this is compared to a single 100 amp hour power queen. You can see in the same size battery box, I could pretty much only fit one of these 100 amp hour power queens. But in the same size or a very similar size box, I could fit 300 amp hours. All right, I just finished hydraulic crimping all these two gauge cables because I'm gonna install this Victron battery monitor in my new system here. This way there's no guesswork in how many amps I am pulling or how much power I've left in my batteries. Now I'm using two gauge cable because this cable is rated for up to 120 amps. Each one of the batteries can only support 100 amps input or output. So this is actually plenty because they're all gonna be hooked up in parallel. So let's move on to that next. All right, I have all the cables heat shrinked and ready for install. Tomorrow. The moment of truth. I worked till 4.30 in the morning last night to get this done. Check it out. Dun, dun, dun. So there we have three 100 amp hour lead time minis hooked up in parallel. And I did squeeze in the Victron shunt, and I did a little bonus install. I put the monitor here on the wall. You can see it's at 100% state of charge. I just ran the cable up under the wall. Um, there was a hole, there's basically holes down here in the bottom of the battery box. I just ran a line down, over, and up, and I was able to put this in. I think that's a perfect place for it. So there you go. 300 amp hours of lithium in a tiny little B plus or small class C battery box. It's only 11 by 18. And I still had a couple inches of room left on both sides. I put some wood down in there to prevent the batteries from sliding. I got, so I got some wood back there to prevent the batteries from sliding because there's really no way to strap these down. So I did put the caps on just so uh, if whatever crazy reason um, those would leap up and hit this metal. Uh, I don't think this would be conductive because it's painted. But in any case, I put the caps on to be safe. And there you have it. That's how you squeeze 300 amp hours into a 100 amp hour box. So if you're interested in the lead time mini, the link will be in the description of this video below. If you're also interested in the Victron battery monitor, I've actually bought about a half dozen of these myself. They're very useful. You see me use it in all my videos. I have it in all my RVs. Uh, it's really good for any kind of off-grid system, really. 
Or if you're interested in the Sun Gold Power Inverters, I'll have a link to these also below in the description. I do have a special discount code that works on this model as well as a couple other models. For that lead time battery, I'll go ahead and put a link here on the screen along with the QR code you can type in, take you on over to their site. There are gonna be discount codes available for this battery, so check that out. Thanks for watching and until next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box.